Hey all you StarCraft 2 fans, Pearl Little Baby here from Pearl StarCraft uh, with another game to cast for you guys today. This one is a little New Year's present, I guess, that I made for you guys. Um, it's a 1v1v1 with two of my fellow clanmates, uh, Dad Donuts and Tayoner here. Um, so if you don't know the, the leagues and stuff, uh, I'm top diamond. Uh, Dead Donuts is also top diamond. Um, and Tayoner is like top 25 gold. So um, he's a little bit lower than us. So we made a handicap for us that, um, not like an in game handicap that we put in at the beginning before we started, but um, we made a rule that we're not allowed to attack Tayoner's base like, uh, with anything more than one unit until we kill our opponent here. So I have to keep attacking Dead Donuts. Dead Donuts has to keep attacking me until we kill the one, until that person leaves the game. Um, except for we can harass with one unit at a time. So that's like a Banshee. He could come in here and like cloak and, and shoot and stuff. Or like I could send a DT. Um, or, but like, but I wouldn't be allowed to use a Warp Prism because obviously I'd use the Warp Prism plus a Warp In unit, at least one. So that wouldn't count because that's two units. And then, uh, that means Dead Donuts cannot use a, uh, a Medivac or anything like that. So just kind of minor harassment, um, to keep him from completely macroing and then having a massive, massive army after we kill each other. Um, if you don't know the map here, I don't remember what the name of it is, but uh, it's in the 2v2 map pool. Uh, it's You have, normally, you one of your allies would spawn here, and the other one would spawn here, and then your opponents could either spawn here and here, or here and here. So we just went on that map and changed it to free-for-all, um, and this is what the spawns looked like. Um, normally, you would take this as your early in-base expansion. This is one of my favorite favorite maps for uh, 2v2. But 1v1, v1, I've never played it on before. So this is going to be a little interesting. Um, so obviously, Tanner is going to macro like crazy because he knows there's going to be no major attacks coming at him for a while. Um, at least I hope he knows to do that because he's only gold league. Um, he should He should be able to do it. Uh, if I was him, I probably would just go, like, Nexus, Nexus, and then start building stuff. Because all you have to really worry about is, like, a Banshee, or, like, a Blink Stalker. I don't know, I mean, that's not going to do anything. Like, a DT might be able to do something, but as long as he has detection, um, I, I guess he just, just put, like, a cannon in his ramp that'll stop any DTs, scout around his base, make sure there's no pylons, uh, then have a couple Stalkers and an Observer to stop any Banshees, and I think he'd be pretty good. Um... So I am, s no that's that's Tanner, he's harassing a little bit there, uh, looks like his probe is going to get taken out by the marine, just barely not killing that SCV, it only has 10 HP left. Um, I did hide my probe in here, uh, so one thing, when I started playing this game, I realized, okay, well, there's a third gas geyser here that's really close to your nexus, it's like only twice the distance away as these normal gas geysers, so what I'm going to do is go for a Dark Templar rush and hopefully catch Dead Donuts off guard. Um, and then on top of the fact that I'll be able to get additional gas and warp in more Dark Templar than normal, um, is that his main is huge. Like, there's no way he's going to scout all this for pylons. Um, so I'm going to be able to hide this probe really, really easily. And uh, hopefully warp in a pylon and then warp in Dark Templar from the pylon. And... Um, Warped Dem Dark Templar right into his main base. And then, um, even though he's Terran, he will probably have some scans. Um, he will obviously run out of scans rather quickly because, um, I mean, he's only got one CC right now. Um, and he does have a bunker at the front, so no way I'm going to get any units in to any units in that way. Uh, I could walk Dark Templar in right now because he's got no uh, detection, but if he builds a missile turret and, uh, He's building a Banshee, so he does have the, the ability to build a Raven, which obviously can detect my Dark Templar. Um, the Donuts, or just the Donuts, the Tayoner, is uh, taking his first expansion here. It's pretty smart to take it this early, because obviously, again, there's going to be no units coming at him, um, at least not an, any more than one unit for a very long time. Um, so, we are, or at least I am, building up four gateways right now. Um, the Dark Shrine is about two-thirds or a third of the way done. Um, I do have about four, I have three guys buying that gas geyser right now. Should probably should put a couple more on it because it's obviously a little bit further. My gateway got in the way a little bit here. But um, 
This is a cool thing actually in 2v2 that you can do because neither your uh, you or your partner start here. So if you're starting up here and starting down here, the guy down here can take the extra gas and then do some kind of gas heavy build um, without expanding, like Dark Templar, Void Rays, uh, I don't know, early infestors as um, Zerg or some kind of starport thing for uh, Terran. So that's just a cool thing that that's going on there. Um, and that is for all spawn locations. Like this one, it's a little bit further, but not too much, it looks like. And this one, that one looks like it's about the same too. So uh, Dead Donuts does have one of these three watchtowers in the middle. Um, if you control all three of these, you'll probably see any rush kind of any kind of rushes coming. Um, so he's the only one that controls those right now. Um, but Henry obviously doesn't need to worry about that. He's got his third nexus coming up now. Um, if you look at the probe counts, uh, actually I'm working my Dark Templar in right now. But if you look at the probe counts, uh, Tanner is in the lead. So I'm assuming these Dark Templar are all different parts of his base. Send one in the mineral line. Send one after his uh, te tech lab here and kill any other units coming out of his barracks. Um, I did scout around to see if there's another base over here. I was expecting him to go macro. Um, he does have a Raven, luckily for him. Um, I'm going to kill a couple Marines before this gets taken out. They'll also all our Banshees. But uh, this Dark Templar is doing work in the mineral line. So we get 14 SCV kills, 15 SCV kills, 16 SCV kills. This is just ridiculous. Um, that is a master Dark Templar right there. You don't see that very often. Uh, the Dark Templar is going to go for the siege tank. Not quite going to get it, but do some pretty good damage. Uh, both these two tech labs did die, so he won't be able to build any more uh, tech heavy gate or starport units for a little bit. Um, so he's going to go for more kills. He's got 19, 20 kills. It's an Executor Dark Templar. That is just. 21 kills. That is one amazing Dark Templar right there. He's like the hero of my team right now. So I do have one more warp warped in. Um, if you look at the units lost tab. Uh, shoot, it doesn't work on this. So I can't do the little thing that pops up normally um, because it's not a 1v1. It's a 1v1v1. So I can get like this stuff going on, on the sides, but I uh, can't quite get everything. So that Dark Templar will get taken out. Uh, he's probably wondering where my pylon is right now. It's going to scout it out and find it. Uh, I do move my probe. Hopefully it was going to get him to go over here and build another pylon and keep warping him in, but he will get killed by that bunker. I should have realized that that was going to be there. Um, so if you look at the units lost, or the resources lost, I have lost almost as many uh, resources as uh, Dead Donuts, but he has lost all of his SCVs. And um, if you look at the units tab, I mean, he's down to four SCVs. Um, when you're down to four SCVs, he does have mules to make up for it, but when you're down to four SCVs and your opponent's at 33 and 61 uh, probes, you're you're in trouble. Um, it's going to be really hard to come back from that. I'm not saying it's impossible, but it's going to be pretty hard. Um, so I do have a observer here because I did see his Banshees. I was kind of worried about some cloaked Banshee harass. Um, looks like he might be going for that, and he doesn't have cloak yet. Um, so not researching it pretty smart. He needs to save all his resources to rebuild his economy. Um, so he will be harassing Tanner a little bit here. Um, no reason why he shouldn't be doing that. I mean, he has obviously seen that 1v1 with me before. He actually has to worry about Tanner, but uh, if he can get these SCV kills, why not? Uh, so his advantage is going to be out of that pretty easy. Just take a little bit of hull damage. Um, so he still does have his Marine at the Watchtower here. Making sure that Tanner uh, is not going to push out on him because Tanner is allowed to attack us. We're allowed to defend from him, but we're just not allowed to attack him. Oh, look at that. Tanner with the triple upgrades from the Forges. That's pretty cool. Um, so he's getting the 1 1 1 upgrades right now. So even the shield for the Protoss. Um, that's really smart because he yeah, obviously knows we're not going to attack him for a while. Uh, he doesn't really know about what's going on in this game, so I guess he's not trying to play aggressive. He does have a couple. Photon cannons at the front. Um, he is on three base and Protoss on three base is rather scary. Um, he's starting to throw out a ton of gateways. It's really smart because when he's maxed on army, it's killed. He'll be reinforced really fast. Um, so he's definitely shown some qualities that are above gold league, but uh, his supply is quite low. Um, through the army tab, his supply is only at. Uh, 93 and then mine's only at 76 but that's because I've been Dark Templar harassing and that kind of stuff um if I had just macroed probably could be at about 120 right now uh unless I was tech like crazy like him I mean maybe he is going for the Colossus um 
not sure if he's going for any air. Um, he definitely should get these plus two going. I mean, why not? Oh, he doesn't have the... Uh, he's going to try the cancel now. Um, if you invest in triple forge, you definitely should keep it upgraded and keep the chrono boost going. He does have a lot of chrono boost stored up on his nexuses. Actually, he's got all his nexus full energy. Um, that's kind of bad, but... I mean, he does have... What is this? Uh, 11 gateways or something. That's that's really good. Um, does have only one Colossus. Probably should um, throw down one or two more... Um, one or two more uh, robotics facilities there. Um, one thing that is interesting about this game is that he has... Um, I mean, if, if you think about a normal 1v1, and it's he could be th fighting a PvP here after uh, Dead Donuts gets killed, or he could be fighting a PvT after I get killed. But he doesn't know which one of us is going to die. So he has to get a unit composition that's going to be relatively good against either one, so that he knows... Um, that his units won't be completely like terrible. Like against Terran, you obviously need a lot, a lot of zealots. But say the Terran gets beat, and I have a ton of uh, Colossus, those, t those zealots are going to get evaporate. They're just going to evaporate to my Colossus really fast. Um, so we definitely should should keep some scouting and try to find the units that are commonly good against both me and Dead Ones' armies. Also, we should find out who's losing the one v one, so he can know who to who to expect um, to actually need to fight in the end. Like, if he sees that I'm obviously winning the one-on-one the -on -one by quite a bit right now, um, he should probably go for a PvP-oriented army. So, it looks like Dynamics is making a push out here. Um, a Dark Templar just patrolling from the Watchtowers, killing any units. Uh, we'll get taken out. So, he does have four Banshees, um, a lot of Marines, three Siege Tanks with Siege Mode, a uh, Raven, another re Marine reinforcing. He's got more more units, more tanks, more marines reinforcing. So looks like he'll siege up on the low ground here. Um, looks like he's targeting down my Twilight Council. That's gonna be annoying. I'm getting upgrades of my of my own, and uh, won't be able to get those anymore. Um, so he does kill a lot of uh, probes there. I did use my army to kill these rocks. Um, coming for a little bit of a flank. I know if I engage up here, my zealots won't be able to do anything. Big storm goes down the marines. Uh, I'm gonna kill all of them. Some feedback on the, the banshees, and uh, he throws their own point defense drones, which are good. But I just have too many stalkers; um, they're gonna run out of energy. And I did clean that up pretty easily. Um, he did kill a lot of probes, though, so he did put a big dent in my economy. Um, I'm down to 41. Tanner is sitting at 61, and the donuts is at 23. So he has remade a lot of his probes. Um, is assigned to take an expansion now. Um, I mean, he's pretty really far behind right now, like, that was basically an all-in, um, hoping that uh, he could do enough damage to me, um, but unfortunately for him, he didn't do it, so I will be taking my third base here, um, Tanner's decided to take his fourth base, uh, that's really smart, so, looks like he's going a pretty good PvP army, getting a lot of Stalkers, getting a lot of Colossus, um, I don't I haven't really been paying attention if he's sending around ob observers, that would definitely be smart, um, so another thing is that so I'm in a one v one right now basically with the donuts. So I'm getting a PVT oriented army. Um, but as soon as I beat him, I'm gonna have to change transition into a PVP army. So again, I'm getting a lot of zealots, and they're gonna be really good against the marauders of the the uh, Terran army and that kind of stuff. And uh, like they're pretty good against siege tanks. And they're pretty good against marines too. Um, so I'm gonna do that. But once I engage the uh like say I win the the PVT and then I have to switch right over to a PVP um these classes are going to be really good against the zealots so like it, it, I'm going to have to get units that are good against Terran and against Protoss because I'm obviously going to be fighting both of them um I'm not saying I have already won the 1v1 here um against the Terran but it's most likely that way I mean I ha I'm on three bases on two look at the income um I do have like double the harvesters of him, uh, and my income is quite a bit higher than him, especially on my gas. I'm almost three times in there. Um, so I am getting two Stargates now. I'm thinking, well, motherships are really good against uh, against Protoss. If you saw the last video I posted, uh, this game was played a day after I played that game. So I was I was kind of liking the mothership right now. So um. I still am liking the mothership, so uh, I'm gonna get one of them. I get a fleet beacon here sooner or later. Um, 
I am spending all my gas to tech as much as I can. I'm getting the first uh, shield upgrade and the plus three attack. Um, my Twilight Council was killed there, and it delayed my upgrades a little bit. At the same time, I'm taking my fourth base. Um, the Donuts is taking his third base. He's built up a bit of a force here. He's got five siege tanks, some marines, a banshee. Uh, he's got a raven again. Raven's obviously very good against Protoss, especially when they have stalkers, because they'll block all the animation shots. Um, if you didn't know, the point defense drones only block shots with animations. So, like, like a marauder, you can see the um, the shell flying through the air. Like, the marine, you can't see the marine shot. So, it obviously doesn't block that. So, um, it blocks things like stalkers, marauders, hydralisks. Um, does not block roaches. It can't really block the acid wave or whatever they shoot out of their mouth. Um, doesn't block any melee stuff, but it'll block, uh, like a viking shot. Um, uh, not quite sure about a phoenix. I know it doesn't block void rays or colossus. Um, because they just have, like, beams. And then, what else is there? Corruptor shot gets blocked. Um, I'm pretty sure a broodlord shot doesn't get blocked, but I can't guarantee you that. That's actually really good if a broodlord shot can get blocked, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't. So I am getting void rays out of these uh, stargates. I do have my fleet beacon up there, and I'm getting the mothership here at my uh, second nexus. Uh, at the same time, I'm getting the plus three armor upgrade. Um, I already got the plus one air because I do know that I'm going to go for some stargate units here. Um, so Tanner is getting high templar. Probably going to morph those into archons. He does a lot of dark templar too. I would definitely suggest harassing with those because. I mean, Dark Templar are pretty good in their army. I'm not going to hate on the Dark Templar in the army, but uh, they're even better at harassing, obviously. You saw in the beginning of this game how good they can do. Um, I only, I brought Dead Donuts down to four SCVs, so if he could bring me down to four probes, he basically would have this game uh, won. Obviously a lot harder to do it now because I have more detection, um, but I don't have that many cannons set up. I don't even know if I have any cannons set up. I mean, I do have an observer. Um, here's one of Tanner's observers. He might be scouting around my base a little bit. Um, so now I'm getting the plus two shield. Um, let's see how Tanner's upgrades are doing. He's completely done on upgrades. So he's got three, three, three for his ground. Um, air, he hasn't gotten any yet. I don't even think he has a, uh, a, uh, what's it called? I did kill an observer there, uh, Tanner's. So he did see my mothership as long as he knows that when the Nexus is, like, spinning out this blue like, I don't even know what it is, this blue light at the top, uh, that means the mothership's building, so he doesn't know how, how long it is till it's finished, it is finishing right now, um, and he did see my unit composition, so no surprise here that I'm getting, uh, the Colossus and the Zealots and the Stalkers, but, uh, he does see the Void Rays on top of that, and he probably saw these two Stargates too, so, um, he will know what my unit composition is, and then I have a mothership, uh, he probably didn't see my Fleet Beacon researching anything, which means I'm gonna get the uh, the Almighty Carriers, which are pretty decent against everything. Um, not very good against Corruptors or Void Rays, but everything else they're pretty pretty good against. Um, they're actually really good against Stalkers, uh, as long as the star it's like not completely mass Stalker, um, because I mean, how many Stalkers do we have here? Not even pages. He doesn't have 24 stalkers. So say I get four um, carriers. I'm getting two more uh, stargates now. Then it's definitely going to be pretty hard for him to beat. Especially because the stalkers going to be shooting my stuff in the front first. They'll be shooting my zealots. They'll be shooting my high templar. They'll be shooting my archons. When I morph them, they'll be shooting the mothership. And then they'll have to deal with the carriers at the end. So as long as I can take his stalker count down pretty far, and he doesn't get too many void rays, um, those carriers will be really, really good. On top of that, everything's cloaked because of the mothership, which is always good. Um, the mothership is getting up on energy. He could definitely feedback that. That would be really, really good. Um, if it was full on energy, it would do 200 damage to the mothership. And then on top of that, it won't be able to cast any spells. Um, mass recall, really good when your army's in a bad spot or you're just harassing or something. Like you can harass with your entire army. Say I brought it over here and killed all his probes. Then he got this like surround. He brought his army over here and had me cornered in here. I could just use mass recall and teleport back to my mothership as long as my mothership was wasn't in the fight. Uh, then vortex, you can just suck up all of their army basically um, and take a big portion of it out of the fight and fight the rest of the army and then fight the portion that you sucked up. Um, and then if they decide to jump in the their whole army into the uh, vortex so they they don't have to fight you like that. Then you throw your Archons in and do the Archon Toilet, um, which is always fun. 
Uh, not quite as fun since they nerfed it, but still pretty good. And then on top of that, you can storm all around the uh, vortex when the units come out, and it's still really, really good. Um, it's not like the insta win it used to be, but yeah. So does look like Tanner is gonna be transferring his probes now. Uh, never mind, he doesn't have any expansions over here. He's suiciding these probes because he thinks he has too many, which is probably true. Um, he's only mining off. I mean, one base really. He should probably suicide more than this, actually. Yeah, he's. he's I mean, he's done. He's mined out in the main, um, and he's mined out here. He does have a couple minerals left here, but about to be mined out, and he's way oversaturated here. Does not even mine the gas. He needs to transfer those. Um, and then he should probably suicide like half these probes. Because I mean, if you look at his money, he has fourteen hundred minerals and five. Oh no, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, fourteen hundred. No, wait. Wait, fourteen thousand minerals that's crazy and then almost five thousand gas so he'll be able to reinforce like all day long so uh let me go back here sorry about that i did miss the fight um spoiler alert i beat the donuts in that one um okay so as tanner's probes get sacrificed I'm coming up here the up the ramp um with all my void rays, a couple of colossus, a lot of stalkers, a lot of zealots, and then in that uh mothership. And looks like I'm going for a vortex. Uh, I suck up a bunch of marauders. Um so it looks like I'm going up to his expansion here. But then I realize, well, what's the point of using the vortex if uh, I'm not gonna kill the rest of his army first? So I do attack, a couple of zealots going into the, the vortex, uh not too many, it's pretty good. Storm on the tanks, uh, feedbacks on the banshees, I think. Maybe not, maybe that wasn't good enough to do that. Well, I'm gonna kill them anyway. Um, and then the Marauders did come out of the Vortex and got owned. So, he'll GG out of this game. Uh, at the same time, when he, when Tanner sees that GG, he's like, okay. So, Pearl Little Baby's army is in, uh, down his base. Now is the time for me to attack, and that's really smart, because I mean, he obviously can kill at least one of my nexuses uh, and a lot of my tech before I can even get back home. So we are both completely maxed out. Uh, actually, I'm a little bit under 200, 200 supply. Um, and we'll see how his unit composition deals with my army here. Uh, more about how my unit composition deals about his army. Do have two uh, obs there, just, just in case. Um, you never want your one obs to get sniped and then get a bunch of Dark Templars to attack you. So I'm waiting for this mothership because it's awfully slow. And uh, I know that's a big essential part of my army. A ton of my stalkers getting owned right there by the Colossus. They're doing massive area damage. And then I do cloak. Um, so the cl the Colossus run out of targets to shoot at. Um, his stalkers are trying to focus on the mothership. But yeah, it does go down. Um, right after it casted a failure uh, vortex. So I do warp in a couple units. I have three uh, Colossus left over and about four void rays looks like. There's a couple more units coming out, just a couple Templar and a couple Stalkers. Um, they're all going to go down. He probably should store my army. I mean, why not? Um, don't want to waste that energy. So I am pumping a bunch of carriers right now. I was doing that during the fight. Um, so I make my tech switch, this tech switch that he hope hopefully doesn't know about. Um, along with getting those carriers out, I'm telling them to auto-build the uh, interceptors. Uh, you just right-click on that if you don't know. And whenever you lose an interceptor, it'll start building one right away. Uh, an interceptor does cost 25 uh, minerals to build, but they are actually really good meat shields for the your army. Like they fly out, they have eight range, uh, so they'll go eight range out from the carriers, and then they'll shoot at his army. Um, and they, I don't, I don't know exactly how much health they have, but I mean, even if they're just the damage they're doing, like that's that's good by itself but on top of that they're being meat shields and the rest of your army gets to shoot longer so I do have a pretty good progress death ball here um, I got four Colossus got uh, four carriers with three more reinforcing um, if I pause this I'm gonna check exactly what I have uh, I got 16 stalkers I got two archons plus two more archons uh, coming in so that's my unit composition and then uh, Tanner has, what is this, I don't know, like 42 stalkers, uh, mothership, and that's it. Um, so he did use a ton of his uh, gateways, I guess he has 21 gateways, so he got two warp ins, um, yeah he's got a ton of gateways, so he got two warp ins full of stalkers, 
and he had a mothership probably corner boosting right as the fight started as he first lost his first aid supply and um got that thing out has a lot of energy and he's got a ton of stalkers so he's going in sniping my fifth base um that's pretty good and yeah my army is still like small from the last fight i mean it's still close to maxed out but not quite as uh actually i have more supply than him but um his army is just, just a lot bigger than mine like yeah so if you watch here my Colossus, he doesn't have any Colossus, that's one main thing uh, that I do pretty good during this fight. My carrier's doing tons of DPS, they do have uh, three attack upgrades, three shield upgrades, getting second armor upgrade right now. Um, so he does throw down a Vortex on my army, that's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to go focus down that mothership while my units are in there. I do have a lot of carriers left over, I don't think he killed a single one. So that's pretty good. Um, and then on top of that I still have a couple of Void Rays in the front. So I do have three more carriers reinforcing over here. Trying to use, I mean, I'm basically broke. Um, I don't have very many probes. I only have 41, and I don't think I've ever been over 41. Uh, he might have killed a couple of probes over here, but I didn't go very high over 41 probes after um, my Dark Templar tech went. So I'm basically winning or doing good in this game because um, the fact that it went so long and I gave those 41 probes a long, long time to mine out everything. Uh, so another fight starting over here. Um, I have a ton of. Uh, Carriers, looks like seven carriers, a lot of uh, Colossus. He built some of his, of his own Colossus this time. No mothership though. Uh, he does have a lot of stalkers. He does have three, three, three on the ground. Um, his supplies dropping quite a bit. He's coming in sniping a bunch of the carriers. Uh, he doesn't want to attack the interceptors because he knows that they do a lot of, uh, they do have a lot of health, and they'd be basically wasting his time. So he does come in and try to snipe carriers. I think he got maybe. I don't even think he got any. Um, no, it doesn't look like he got any carriers. Um, so I do have an Archon here, so it looks like he did have one more warp in. Uh, he's broke on gas now, so he just didn't need a warp in Zealots. But I have air, so there's nothing he can do. Um, so as long as I kill these Stalkers, they're shooting the Interceptors. Uh, he just comes in and focus down one carrier. Uh, looks like he'll get the second one too. So, yeah, I'm not going to be able to kill anymore. So I do have five carriers left, and he doesn't have any gas. So this game is basically over. Um, he could build a ton of cannons, but uh, carriers have more range than cannons, so the cannons will just endlessly shoot at the uh, interceptors, which I can just remake. So he knows that he lost this game. He's going to GG out of it. Um, yeah, so that, that game was pretty intense. Um, I might try to cast more of this kind of game for special holiday events. Um, so... Maybe like Easter or something. I'll cast another one of these games. I don't know. Uh, if you guys like it, I'll make more anyway. So... Uh, if you like this video, definitely subscribe, like the video if you like this kind of game, uh, if you want me to do more of this kind of stuff, and I'll see you guys next time.